All right, and turn around this way. Am I almost done? Mm -hmm, you're almost done. Yay, you said yes. Hey, Pom Pom Gang, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial featuring the youngest Pom Pom sister, Callista, representing the thin curly type three hair. This tutorial will be doing a protective style on Callista's hair. Now to start off, I will be detangling her beautiful curls using a detangling brush. I like to detangle her hair while it is dry versus when wet because the hair is a lot more fragile when wet. So once I am done detangling her hair, we are then gonna go into parting and styling. Another tip for styling her thin hair, I am not heavy with products on her hair like I am with Kalia who also has type three curly, curly hair. She has gorgeous, gorgeous curls. So with Callista, less is more when it comes to hair products. I don't go for heavy creams. I usually try to just stick with a leave-in conditioner and a nice heavy oil for her scalp and to keep her ends nice and moisturized. I was inspired to do beads and puffs which I saw on Instagram and I thought they were absolutely cute. Now this is my first time doing beads on Callista's hair. She has never worn her hair with any type of beads other than her usual hair bows and maybe a headband occasionally. And this is also her first time with braids. I'll be doing just some simple braids plaits in her hair in the backside and then we will do two cute little puffs in the front part of her hair. So I've already divided her hair where I want the puffs and where I'll be doing the braids. And now I am pretty much prepping her hair so that I can braid it. Now, for since her hair is going to be in this protective style for at least a week or so, I'm not sure how long they will last because this is my first time doing braids on her, I am going to apply a cream moisturizer to her hair just to help with moisture and so her hair doesn't dry out while her hair is in this protective style because I don't really go back and re-moisturize their hair when it is in a protective style. Once I part off the section that I desire, since her hair is thin, I am going with a pretty big section of hair just because I don't want the braids to be tiny, tiny to the point that I'll have a hard time getting them out later. I'm going to apply some edge control to help keep those flyaways down. Now with her hair being thin, she does experience a lot of flyaways. Not too much with frizziness. I don't really consider her hair to be frizzy. I just feel like she just has a lot of flyaways versus Kalia experiences a lot of frizz. So once I apply my moisturizer and the edge control, we are then gonna go in with plaiting her hair. I go with the underhand method versus the overhand method. That's just the method that I am most comfortable with. And I'm just gonna show you guys a little clip of how I am going braiding her hair with the underhand method. Like I mentioned before, this is Calista's first time with braids, so she was really curious as to what I was doing with her hair. Now, usually with hairstyles for Calista and her being a toddler, I try not to do a hairstyle that I know is gonna have her sitting still for more than 15 minutes. So this style took about 30 to 45 minutes to style her entire head. She did very well sitting in the chair, but she just kept asking constantly over and over again, mommy, are you done? Mommy, are we done? Mommy, are you almost done? So that was a bit of a challenge, but she did stick it out and do very well. Once the braid is completely braided down all the way to the end, I'm then gonna go ahead and add the beads. I had these beads left over from a previous style that I did on Kalia. These are actually the only beads that I own, and that's because I don't really do too many braids and bead styles on my girls. They prefer hair bows over beads. Now, at first I added like two beads to one braid. The next one I did three beads because I just wasn't sure how many beads I wanted on her hair. I ended up going with 
four with these and these beads come with different size variations so it was a little tricky trying to figure out how many i wanted on each braid So again, once you figure out your method of madness, you can just go ahead and speed right on through this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward me braiding up her hair and we're gonna go ahead and get into her puffs shortly. If you're still rocking with us through this tutorial, thank you. And I just want to make sure you hit that thumbs up, liking this video, and to also hit that subscribe button for future videos. And to also check out our videos on curly hair, wavy hair, and of course, Callista's thin curly hair, as well as my kinky hair. The Pom Pom Sisters represent all textured hair. And so it, we just have a spectrum of videos across all textures and how to care for them properly, as well as some cute inspirational hairstyles. Thank you guys and I'll get back to the video. With Callista being our youngest pom-pom sister, she's definitely the most feistiest and the bossiest in the house, but she is a total mommy's girl. She loves her mommy. So I got one out of the three. The other two are total daddy's girls. But I really was inspired to do this look. The hairstyle originally was done on a girl with a really curly, thick hair and I was a little afraid that this style just wasn't going to look the way I wanted it to um, have that thickness of course and it didn't but the style was so super cute on Callista so I'm glad that I gave it a try and we made it work for her thin curly hair. My biggest challenge for styling her thin curly hair is that I'm afraid I'm always like pulling her hair maybe too tight or she might have too much tension on her hair. And I just feel like her hair is just a lot more fragile than her older sisters, but it's completely not true. Although her hair is thin, there's, there's nothing wrong with the strength of her hair. Her hair is very strong. It grows very well and healthy. And as long as I keep it moisturized, we have no issues with styling her hair. I'm now going in with her two puffs that will be on the top part of her hair. Now, parting hair is just really difficult. I don't know why, but I just struggle with making straight parts. I, it's just, I don't know why. It's just always been a struggle for me when styling my girl's hair. So what looks like is straight to me, I'll look in the mirror and it does not look straight at all. Like it always slants to the right or to the left or it's never completely down the middle. So this part, I really have to take very good care into parting her hair because I don't want her to have lopsided puffs. Now, Callista's usual hair routine, we wash her hair at least once every week, sometimes once every two weeks. It just depends on how active she is. In the summertime, I do more frequent washes than in the wintertime, and that's mainly because she sweats really, really bad. And she's also in daycare where she's very active and running around, and she gets all kind of dirt and sand in her hair. So I do take special care in washing her hair more frequently than I do in the summer and than I do in the wintertime. Now, um, other than her uh, usual shampoo and conditioner, I don't tend to deep condition her hair. I just don't feel like she requires that right now. She's a toddler and she, you know, she's just active. I just try to keep her hair very simple as of right now. I'm just enjoying the simplicity of styling her hair with her being a little girl. Once her pigtails are made, we are then gonna go try and do the puff balls. Now with her hair being thin, this is another challenge. So I have to 
kind of tease her hair just to give it that volume that I'm looking for and then uh, we'll roll it up into a knot and just kind of pin it there I then also added some uh, hair wax paint she asked for this this was not my doing and this is in the color mystic blue by curls unleashed and I purchased this online and then we are done Callista is complete with her cute new protective style puffs and beads Ooh, boo, I like your hair. Can you see the back? Ooh. No more pictures. No more pictures, okay. Her hair can be worn in the cute little pigtails and here is her hair in the puffs. And as you can see, those are the little knots that we made and I just take a fine tooth comb to tease her hair just a little bit to give it volume. Thank you, Pom Pom Gang, for joining us on another tutorial. Please be safe and thank you. Please like this video. We'll see y'all on our next tutorial.